In 2018, why did a Kuwaiti fish shop have to close after a member of staff used some craft supplies? I'll read that again. In 2018, why did a Kuwaiti fish shop have to close after a member of staff used some craft supplies? Oh, God, they didn't, like, mistake PVA glue for sauce or something, did they? Just sloshing oh it on there. <laughs> oh, brilliant. This is It's got glitter glue in it. Fantastic. And then, oh, no, this isn't uh, Sriracha. <laughs> PVA? There was that copy dex glue when I was a kid in school that smelled like bad fish. Oh. Like, it's a it's a PVA type. I don't know what it actually is, but it's it's the it's the safe glue you give to kids for craft projects, and it smells awful. It smells like bad fish. So stop the meeting, my it. thought was, yeah, my thought was like they're gonna slather it on everywhere, and I'm like, oh, the fish is rotten. We have to close. Glue isn't the the craft supply Funny. that you're looking for. Okay. <laughs> this this is the thing. Like someone writes craft supplies in the question. That whatever that craft supply is, that's a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just really hung up on why there are many ways to procrastinate um, on the job. And sometimes people do it for fine reasons. But crafting, like that's, it's one thing to scroll on your phone for five minutes on the toilet or something. But you bring out a whole craft while you're working at a fish shop. I don't know. Some, so I, I mean, I've I've done this in customer service jobs before. Some bosses will not stand for you having even a glimpse of your phone on the floor. But if you've got, I, I I knew a colleague once who made chainmail uh, while in customer service. <laughs> uh, I, I've had I, I knew people who did crochet, all sorts. Because yeah, apparently that's not as bad as being on your phone. Um, I don't know what you'd do in terms of f that would get fish recalled though. Um, in, maybe like to be cheap, they were not using the like food safe skewers, and they just bought some lollipop sticks from <laughs> from Hobbycraft. <laughs> Yeah, we don't know if they used the craft supplies as part of the fish sales, or if it was if it was just you know. I was really imagining just yeah, just passing the time by doing some paper mache. <laughs> to be fair, if you were walking up to the clerk at a shop and they were on their phone, you might be a bit like, oh, they're, they're distracted. They're not. If you walked up and they were crocheting, I would feel bad for interrupting them, right? Like that. I'm not. I'm not getting in the way of someone's crochet. Uh, can you uh, uh, just remind me what what happened? Did they recall the fish? Did you say they had to? Closed down the shop? They had to close the shop. They were closed by the authorities. Huh. Was it a Molotov cocktail? Ooh. <laughs> I have often bought my Molotov cocktail supplies. Yeah, I, I often the go into the hobby shop and, and, buy, and buy a milk bottle and a rag and some petrol. <laughs> <laughs> Molotov yeah. branded cocktails. Is, it, Craft is it legal for me to give those instructions as part of a podcast? I generally, I'm generally, i slightly worried. Have I, have I just given instructions for making... <laughs> That feels like a thing that's on Wikipedia somewhere anyway. But. I'm page four of the Anarchist Cookbook. <laughs> I feel like, we're, yeah, we're all going to have fire alarms that start going off. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. So think about other craft supplies. It's not glue like you're talking about. What else would you would get a craft store? Um, like, is it something sharp that like he dropped a load of pins in the fat fryer, the deep fat fryer? <laughs> But, uh, and they but, oh, to... we don't know if this is fish shop in the British term, yeah. of meaning like fish and chips shop, or just a fishmonger's, just a, a shop that sells. It's fish. like a, it's like a fishmonger. It's fresh fishmonger fish. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, uh, uh, beads. It was just, a, it was just from the bead shop. Just enormous quantities of beads, and they got in the fish and had to be recalled. I mean, to be fair, there's enough microplastics in there anyway. But <laughs> <laughs> so the the item was used in a deceptive way. Oh, they're trying to make the fish look. They're painting the fish to be more colourful. A rainbow fish. You're going along the right lines. They're making the fish look fresher. They're putting the button somehow. eyes in. Teddy bear eyes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not teddy bear eyes. On the fish. Googly eyes? Googly no. eyes. Googly eyes. Googly eyes. They <laughs> googly eyes the fish. They put and googly eyes on the fish to make them look fresh. Oh, I, 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 don't, I don't see how they would thought that would work. by but, that? Like, I know. That's and apparently no one was. No, that sounds quirky and fun to me. Is <laughs> it really? Is it? Is it really such a health risk? I don't know. So yeah, apparently there was a video that went viral um, of this particular place that had done it, and then the Kuwaiti Ministry of Commerce managed to find the shop and shut it down. Aww. And then rival fishmongers reacted by advertising that their own fish was sold without cosmetics. <laughs> <laughs> 
You shouldn't get in trouble for objectively funny crimes. <laughs> I have eaten so much plastic on accident in my life, and I just really am not convinced that a little googly eye is that big of a deal for most it people. It feels less deceptive because it's surely it's just like, like an innocent. You just pull it off, right? Thing, but yeah, if you were painting it or something, that would be more um, sort of deceptive. But... but also at the point where that video has gone viral, someone has to step in. They can't. Mm. They can't let it get away at that point. Like, what else are they doing to the fish if they're if they're yeah. putting googly eyes on them? I guess <laughs> is, is the thinking. <laughs>